So, when the result announced, he got it. That's it. He just said that. He got it. And it, it was in Beijing. Um, and then he talked about other people able to so lian. So I'm talking about qualities of people who are deserving of um, merits. So this person is hum uh, Mr. Ding is very humble. He's very careful. At the same time, he can withstand slanders without uh, jumping at it straight away. Um, because sometimes this kind of slander, like what Leo Fan talked about in the first chapter, is like taking the flame against the air. One day it will go away. If you're trying to rebut against that or trying to debate against that, it will get muddy and muddy and muddy. It's trying to use your muddy hand and trying to wipe clean something. I forgot the, the, the other metaphor. But the thing is that um, sometimes you just leave it, let it die itself. And there are other people, Mr. Feng, uh, he also can take in, uh, he, go, he can hide his um, talent at the, uh, un, uh, without showing it unnecessary. So Lian, Xu Ji Lian Rong, Da Bian Qi Yu Nian Zi Xi. So he can um, empty himself, uh, not full of himself, not full of whatever he's good at. And uh, he can um, hide, uh, not hide, he can, uh, uh, how to say, So Lian I don't know how to say in, Ch in Chinese, in English. Um, low profile, yes, keep a low profile. Uh, in in his young days, young days, Mr. Fong was a bit more um, uh, maybe arrogant or maybe more showy, show offy. Uh, so, other case, Mr. Lee as well, um, Li Ji Yan. Uh, so he has a friend who uh, very straight, like immediately criticize him in front of others and all that. Like what you did wrong, why you're not good and all that. Um, yeah. Right in front of his face and in front of everyone, he just talk about his weakness and all that, and he can take and he can take it without a a face of anger, like he doesn't have a face of anger. He can take it, uh -huh. and then he doesn't even mention a word. Imagine someone just stand in front of you, in front of all your family and colleagues and all that, and they just talk about all your problems and all that, and then you can just smile and take it in without a word. So he give another summary. Uh, every fortune has its beginning. So you can see how this person begin to have fortune. And also every disaster has its beginning. You can see how every disaster has its butt, buddings coming out. Like when these people are behaving like that, you can see already. Uh, you can deduce, yes, like Sherlock Holmes. You can deduce what happened. These are all doable, guys. These are all doable. They are not some magical property in our sense it, it can be learned and you and if you are very very adept at examining yourself and able to cultivate very good at controlling emotions and harness it properly and and, and cultivate we call it cultivate properly um, then when you look at other people you immediately know what kind of people is this what kind of people is this you don't need to think about it you just see you understand you see the uh, historical uh, behavior of this person and then see you can deduce where this person is going same thing so this is very interesting um all this fortune and disasters they're all together you know who see who see who see who see in chinese you know right? there's a disaster blessing in disguise in disaster there's a blessing in there and if there's a fortune there's disaster hidden in there if not managed properly so if your heart is prop is truly humble it's it's um it's not full like a mountain, but as deep as a valley, able to accept everything. Then, definitely you will be repaid in fortune. Tian bi bao zi. So he talked about this person definitely got the they got a good good karma. I mean, good fortune of passing the imperial examination. And then he brings out other cases like Zhao. Um, he um, oh, yeah. So Mr. Zhao himself, he, he wrote, because you have to write essays in the exam, and when he wrote the exam uh, essays, um, his uh, father, I think, Okay, so
Anyway, so he, he wrote an essay trying to submit it to the examinations to pass the vetting. And someone just, uh, someone I think very talented in words, just come and corrected his words. It's just saying that you're very bad at this editing. Basically come into your heart, uh, like book, and then just say, this does not make sense. This is not good and all that. But that person is very good at that. And he didn't just say it's not good. He just goes straight ahead. Obviously, there's no eraser back then. They use the brush and stroke and say, this article does not make sense. Uh, Mr. Zhao was like, he didn't feel erupted. He didn't feel shock. He's very calm. He takes it very well. And it's like, oh, thank you, thank you. Like, if someone imagine you finish an essay, maybe a thesis after three months, uh, bring in the modern context, just three months, and then you put it there and then your father maybe invited someone who's very good uh, editor and stuff like that, or someone very good proficient at, at writings, they come in front and then he didn't just say anything. He just come in, take a pen, have a look, strike, 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 strike. And, and all these three months of hard work is there. And then they, they just strike like 90% of it or something. He's like, this is not good. This is not good. So normal people were like, can we take it in? That's the test. Can we take it in? He can take it in. And he, he take it in very well. He's like, I will change immediately. He take it very well. He absorb all his advice and his change. Next year, immediately, he got into the examination. Hmm. And before this happening, because he has been failing the examination every year, a long time. So his father's like, oh my God, I need to find someone to help him lift him up a bit. And this is the test, not just on his word. Word is secondary. It's the heart. If the heart is right, your word will reflect you, your heart. So this is a lot of wording, writing. It's important. The people can see through your um, heart from the way you write because it's bro a brush stroke, guys. And trained eye, we can see it. This bias is very rushed. You get the way he writes. <laughs> And then when you write all the contents, the the logical lining of your words, it's like when the bushun, bushing, something like that. Like if if your word is not making sense, they will know like your heart is messy. How can you run a country like that? No, go. It's very strict. So so this is what happened. And yep, same thing. People who are very uh, humble. They don't act. What he told uh, people are naturally emitting a humbleness. They don't. They are not full of themselves. I think we all know. Like when you meet someone like that, they they are just like that. They are not. They are not acting or anything. They are just humble. I also want to confess a bit. Like I get a little bit too doubtful of people, and I need to learn from this. Like see things as they are. You know, people sometimes are just like that. Um, just because we learn about chapter three that they are not always on the surface doesn't mean that we need to like guess mm, is this person real or fake? No, I think I, I, I have a conclusion that um it's an opinion that we need to see things as it is. Like, yes, this person might be faking it or not, doesn't matter. If that person is truly humble, you will know. And they they will show it through their actual everyday life, whether you see it or not. If this person is not, it's just putting a face. Eventually, you will have to be facing a test. Everyone has to be tested. And that test, he will not pass if it's not real. So be real and, and learn what is real. And then you will carry on to your next life or pure land. You still need it anyway in pure land.